So this is a follow-up to the post that I put up. Um, and I think it probably makes a bit more sense if I demonstrate as opposed to trying to read through some of that jargon and trying to sort of feel or visualize what I'm talking about. Again, I'm not saying that this position for recovery is a bad option, but there's things that are happening which aren't great for maybe what happens after. So what I mean by that is when you breathe, your diaphragm is going down when you breathe in, it's going up when you breathe out. And your abdominal muscles are playing a role in that too. They're kind of doing the opposite. So when you breathe in, they go out. And then when you breathe uh, out, they go in. At the same time, your spinal muscles that run up and down your spine, they're holding you nice and sturdy so that you can do this breathing and moving. If you lose a little bit of spinal stability because maybe the muscles through your back that go up and down are fatigued and tired, then something else is gonna to have to create that stability so that you can continue moving. And for a lot of people that are out of breath, it ends up being their diaphragm. And that might look for a lot of people like this hinge that you get down here. So when they bend backwards, they move at one spot. And there's a couple spots that the diaphragm attaches to on the lumbar spine. But what I'm talking about is it's better to work on those breathing mechanics in a controlled way and to try not to lose that positioning when you work out. And so for people that have lost that stability and they're fatigued, they're looking for stability somewhere else. And so they're going to the shoulder blade muscles. And that's what happens. You do here, and now I'm creating stability through my shoulder, which means these muscles under here can now lift my ribs up to help me breathe. So if I put my hand like this and I'm taking my weight, and I put this other hand over here, when I breathe in and breathe out, my ribs are moving over here. You should be able to do that without putting that weight through the hand. So if I come back over to here, still moving. The reason that's significant and why I'm suggesting not to get in the habit of doing this, do this yourself, put the tension down into your uh, knees and feel the tension that gets created in your shoulder. You need that tension to create the room to be able to breathe. If you try and keep that tension, so I'm keeping that tension in my shoulder, I can't lift my arm now because my arm is down here creating tension so I can breathe. It can't go up. And if it does, if I try and like figure out a way, okay, I really wanna keep that tension, but I need to get my arm up here, you know, maybe I'll lean like this. And now all of a sudden I'm straining somewhere else. And once or twice, not a big deal, but if it becomes something you do regularly and habitually, then what about your running mechanics? These guys also have jobs in pushing your arm forward. Uh, they've got jobs in throwing, they've got jobs in stabilizing weight over your head. Um, anything that requires arm movement, that's their primary foundational job there. So better to build better breathing habits and mechanics better to increase the endurance of your stabilizing muscles through your spine and try not to sacrifice that stuff when you're training and then have a way for you to recover by doing hands on the knees. Better to be able to recover on your own without having to do that little, I wouldn't call it a cheat, but it's, it's something that, you know, is really when you've gone to your max, that's when I would use it. And if you're going to your max every time you play, you're probably not fit enough to play and maybe you should be looking at some of your fitness training and uh, what you need to do there to have it so that the game becomes something you can enjoy and you're not so worried about being fatigued and like destroyed after you play because that's not fun. So just some food for thought and some ideas to play with. If you need a little bit more sort of ideas on how to change some of those breathing mechanics, we've got a lot of videos on that stuff. Um, if you need more direction on that, then get in touch and maybe we can help you out.